for that one. Hi, I'm Anna, and today this is going to be my blog post video. So, so this, this is, is my, my modeling Earth's rotation and revolution on Earth's rotation and revolution and how the Earth moves around the sun and the shadows for it. So I had some reflection questions over here, and then I also made my answers for this. So let me make this screen. And like you see, the popular vote. Okay, so I wrote my reflection questions. There were only three reflection so questions. So the questions were, why is it important to use models? And when explaining or teaching things, why are some eliminations? What are some eliminations of models? What makes them imperfect? How did you decide on the model you chose for this video? Made the best model for the job. Why didn't you choose a different model? And this was one of my favorite ones because it would, you really got creative in the videos, so my answer for that it is important to use models because they show more understanding on what you are saying. They show examples that describe the actual event. Models give a good picture in your head about the actual explaining of it. It can. It is also easy to understand, especially if it is a difficult concept to just teach randomly. So for the second one, I say, I said. A thing that doesn't help with models is you need to use them properly and look to see if they are giving you a good visual to the audience. So if you're using it properly, make sure you're using them the right way, like you're not just messing them around and like breaking them or something like that. They sometimes do not act as you want. Like, they sometimes do not act as you want them to. Like, they don't do what you think they would. Models, models do not do not show the actual size of the earth like they are not on that type of level like the earth is so huge and then the models like the size of your palm i chose a green ball a yellow ball and a flashlight but i didn't use my styrofoam ball i didn't have a styrofoam ball i just didn't use it i thought the green ball represented the earth and the yellow ball as the sun what about the sun cloud? I thought the flashlight also the represented the sun, so well, it can I show you how how the differences on the, the summer and winter of the sun going not, on the um the earth. Um, my evidence for that the yellow that ball the shows how the sun the stays in one place, and the green ball, the earth, spins around the sun constantly. So now moving on to my next one. I have some notes. Rotation means a year, like the Earth goes around the sun a year. Revolution means a, a day, it goes, it goes around a day. Fall and spring is when direct sunlight appears. So my state of nature story, this is just a screenshot of some of my state of nature story. Um, I had two reflection questions for this. Um, um, I have models of the sun and shadows. I had to make a video on that, and there were no reflection questions. Revolutionary tug of war was by me. No reflections. Tracking shadows during a day. During a day, we had we had to track shadows. And I'm going to explain this one. So what we had was we had a battery, and we had a the just a battery, a clipboard, and a piece of paper and a pencil. And we wrote where north, south, east, and west are. And we put the battery on an exact spot every single time and sand. I on an exact spot every single time and stand it at the exact spot every single time. So we put our names down outside on the chalk with chalk, and we had different shadows over periods of time. So 9:20 was really long, and then it went to 10.35, I think that is. It got a little shorter. 12.07, look how short that is, and then 2.15 is very long again. And we actually made a graph tracking all that down. Um, so this was kind of like a couple of days lessons, I think. So I'm going to read only three of my reflection questions. Um, so the question was, what patterns did you notice about the shadow length throughout the day? First in the morning, it was very long and wide because of the sun on an angle. After after morning in the afternoon, the shadow appeared very short and narrow because of the sun's position. The light couldn't wrap around the battery to make a, a more bigger shadow. After past when it was back to long, 
it was actually even longer, longer than that before. It was even longer because the closer really long, the sunlight gets the horizon, the more long and narrow the shadows. It got a bit so shorter, this was really fun because um, it got so big, and the difference between that is awesome. So now let's move on to the next one. So observing the sun for a day. Um, that wasn't actually. Wait, hold on one second. Yeah. I think I missed observing the sun for a day because I was sick. So environmental challenge. I'm Sorry, going to say this one. Um, so the environmental challenge is when so we had to make an environmental day, issue. Like we like had to focus on an environmental this, issue and we had to make like an invention that helps solve the environmental. So we had to make a video on our creation and we had the to draw a picture and challenge. we had to make a model. We so then we had some reflection so questions and really you could also it, sign up for like different like contests. Could. Well, we some money or prizes or video anything or and it was really fun because you got to really like think about the issues with the, the environment and how it's impacting and how we can how kids can use uh, we just use materials from our classroom and they can put their minds to it so observing our shadows so this is really cool because I made a thing link and you could just press on them and learn the about the fall equinox, the spring equinox, the summer solstice, and the winter solstice. And then, and then we just oh. made a blog post when we Sorry, it's Island, which is yeah, a game we just... did. And then here's a link to our Sorry, I'm going to blog post right now. Loading. And then so, our, our muscles know when to move. We learn now we have the day and night video. Know when to move and well, the day and night. How did they and move? Sorry, it's loading right now. But for day and night, and I have to make a video explaining day and night and time. how the sun That's goes with it. And I got some pictures. Yeah. And is the wedding scene in June books the first try? Sorry. I think so. When does it end? I think at the same time. I would just do that. Uh, so, and then sorry, I was this helping. Is the last um, and then we yeah, had some, just some information. And then it was gravitational force. So, you had to learn about like the marble dropping on like sand and salt and stuff. And we had to show how it works. And we made like an, a hypothesis, my actual answer, and some reflection questions. And modeling Earth's shape was notes from my research and day two I made a video and this was really fun because um, we got to make a like a Google drawing and the Google drawing was really fun because I got to show like my vision of the earth and um, here's the earth I made like bushes and continents somehow and I also made like little people around the earth and stuff so it was really fun to do that because that was actually like the first time I ever draw, done Google Drawing before, I think. And it was, you got to really think creatively and he gave you a long time to, um, to do this. And then we had some reflection questions. I'll read, um, uh, I'll read one of them. So question two, how does the size of their drawings of the earth compare with the actual size of the earth? It is incredibly smaller than its actual size, which it actually is. If you didn't know, the Earth was huge. The Earth is a three-dimensional, and the drawings of the Earth are two-dimensional. The Earth is 3,959 miles long, and the drawing if the, of the Earth is way smaller. And we have our human body research paper. That was really... And my Money Island certificate to say I was a guru. And how our muscles know when to move. We did that near the human body lesson. And I was actually sick for the rest of the lesson, so I don't know what happened. And then I'll explain this one. We had writing a scene in June Bugs was when we got this video and you got and we got to watch it in class and he showed you about it and um we got since we were writing June Bugs, we got to say like what 
is going on and how we can incorporate some of this stuff. Like what happens is we succeed and then we fail and fail and fail and then we succeed and maybe fail. Like it's all those funny scenes that you put together that makes the story like really good and wraps it up the whole time. So I think that's all I have for you today. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my certificate on Money Island. And so what we had was this game called Money Island on First American Bank. And, la and these ladies came in and, she and they offered the game to us. And we started playing it. And you had to become a guru. And I became a guru. It was a lot of fun. And we got t-shirts and pencil marks and bookmarks. All this stuff at the end. It was a lot of fun. Because just... It was really cool to say, like, I, I broke stone, I saved stone broke, um, and it was really fun. So, I think that's all I have for you today, so I'm in, and thank you.